Hey guys, Chris for Inside Hardware and today we'll be looking at some iPad repair tips and tricks and what I've learned. So I have this iPad second generation black screen or black digitizer that I received from a client with a cracked digitizer, did a full replacement, did a couple testing after the iPad was fully repaired and um, everything worked fine. So I put it to charge so I could return it with a full charge and I noticed it was kind of acting up on me and come to find that when I was done fully charging I had no power button functionality and as well the smart case wasn't working but the device would power on and um, I realized that I could completely power it off if I held down the power button I could as well take screenshots by holding down the home button and the power button at the same time and um, so there was functionality in my power switch my volume switches worked fine as well as the mute switch and I started reading up online I found that the assistive touch functionality that gives you a couple uh, command prompts on the screen to uh, like put your iPad in sleep standby mode um, doing that from the screen I found that that was not working as well so it appeared to be a software issue that's what a lot of people were saying online um, so I've come to find that I could then turn off the lock screen switch through the settings that basic, basically in iOS 7 it's called lock unlock and um, it basically allows you to use a smart cover feature um, if you have a cover that has the right placement of the Apple magnets it can uh, turn your device on and off from sleep mode so if you turn that feature off I found that I had full functionality of my power switch again so I said well better that than nothing at all and uh, my client was okay with that and so I returned an iPad to my client with the no, basically no features in terms of the uh, case turning the screen on and off. Well, he soon contacted me again to let me know that his battery was draining way too quickly and I was able to test of that. And so I've started to mess around and sure enough my theory came true. So let's go ahead and I have this iPad already taken apart. And as you can see, my power switch right now works. Um, I actually, for the demonstration, put in the old sensor. I plugged it back in at least, and it started to work fine again. So let me go ahead and show you. This is the original Apple power button switch and flex cable, and it completely works. And I have a magnet here that I can use as a, to pretend as my smart cover, and that works as well when flashed over the correct position and it should or has been a waking this up as well well it works and doesn't work so either way let's open up this iPad come to find that in your power switch flex cable you have a hard button for your power you have a hard switch for your mute and unmute or lock and unlock screen orientation. You have two hard buttons for your volume up and down and then that goes down and plugs in to the little extended board but there's this little jobby right here that didn't make sense for it not to be on the board they must have it up here for a reason in its placement and sure enough though it doesn't state this on a lot of listings when you look at the repair part like this one here that I have to my side this is a new flex cable and basically this little set of resistors or whatever sensors this is works for your smart case cover so basically right here you have four decently strong magnets aligned in a certain position and then your actual switch is over here on top so whatever your case whether it be a name brand smart case or an off brand they'll generally have a magnetic strip in them to hold the case down when it's closed as well as its own magnet to power on the device and so what I've done just as a quick test is I removed or unplugged the cable from the little extended board and plugged in my new flex that still has all its sticky portions attached to it and it hasn't been folded into its angles yet if you've done this replacement before you'll know how frustrating it can be especially when coming to the power switch but uh, just by plugging this in, I could test this switch, and uh, immediately I had uh, full responsiveness, 
and also leaving this plugged in overnight and trying to use up as much energy from this iPad the battery level seemed to hold much better so my conclusion is this sensor here which is your smart case sensor my guess is I overheated it when trying to remove the original crack digitizer and uh, I wouldn't say it killed its functionality but it definitely altered it from its original intended purpose in doing so I my guess is it stayed stuck down to say in the open or closed position constantly giving a signal what was happening with that even if you turned it off as far as part as a functionality to this iPad it still um, created a signal and therefore drew electricity from the batteries causing the batteries to uh, not hold a charge for very long at all but um, in replacing this entire sensor switch these can be found for under five bucks on eBay or Amazon wherever you choose your parts from uh, this replacement of the power flex of this power switch and volume flex cable also has this jobby sensor that is what takes care of your power on and off from the smart case cover so that right there though it's dark in this picture um, that's what its purpose is and I hope you found this repair useful if you are having troubles with your smart case or your magnet case and therefore some other problems that might come along with it please feel free to post and comment and ask questions thanks again for watching